hey up it's louise i'm being mrs professional once more and working from this is not professional going in front of my face working from a script so if you see my eyes darting to the side you know the drill hi hello i have been very tempted to make some frivolous and weird purchases recently as always i'm a crazy person uh my consumption levels are like through the goddamn roof though so i need to chill out with it I've been watching a lot of like low and anti-consumption YouTube, especially Shauna Rapari. Love her videos, they're really good. And I have been influenced to talk myself out of things. De-influence myself, you may say. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, I need to hold myself accountable and speak these things into existence <laughs> and talk myself through and talk myself out of some of these things like I want to buy because some of them are just so like unreasonable and I just need to hold myself accountable so if you see me buying any of these things or participating in any of these trends even though I said I'm not going to you are allowed to talk trash about me and you can meet me in the B&M car park um, and kick my ass if you want to starting off strong here I really want to get a tooth jam I want a tooth gem so bad. Someone that I follow on Instagram who I don't really know. I sort of know what, I don't know. Uh, like an acquaintance of an acquaintance, you know? Uh, so she got one recently and I was like, damn, that looks really cool. I want to be blinky. I want to have blinked up teeth. <laughs> I never thought I would say blinged up teeth before. Like I wrote that down. I'm like, you're never going to say blinged up teeth. Blinged up teeth. Uh, I just want it so bad. I'm like, it's really cool. It's really cool to have a tooth gem. Like, is it though? Is it cool? Is it? Is it just going to damage my teeth? I love the concept of it. Like, genuinely, I really do. I don't know why. It just sort of like scratches a little itch in my brain. But if I get one, like, there, is it not just going to, like, I've got, like, food in my teeth or plaque or like I need to floss but like I love shiny things I live for a shiner the thing is as well I just paid a couple hundred quid at the dentist to get my teeth sorted out uh I had two fillings done without anesthetic because I am a hard man <laughs> and then immediately after getting the fillings I went to go get um iced oat milk chai latte and a blondie and that's where my problem is stop eating sugar and no, I love sugar I'm not gonna stop eating sugar uh yeah I don't want to have to go and get scale and polish to get a tooth gem taken off because once the tooth gem gemificator I don't know what the term is for that once they put it on they won't take it off you need like an actual dental professional to take it off and i don't want to go to my dentist who is younger than me got this goddamn gen z dentist i'm just an old decrepit millennial i don't want her to be laughing at me a 32 year old woman who got a tooth gem that's like a swarovski moon or whatever <laughs> i don't want the dentist to judge me also i have to pay for a scale and polish i get it took off no i should know better i also don't trust um the qualifications you have to go through to get a tooth gem i believe it's mostly online i think you can do a face-to-face -face where you do a practice but it's mostly online i don't understand how you can do that online anything that's like tooth related i really need more accreditation i need like dental qualifications i saw a couple months back all those videos people were posting about those dodgy veneer tags and it's put me right off i just need someone to be qualified don't have to be a dentist could be like a dental nurse dental hygienist but not someone that's paid like 299.99 and you get the pack of gems and you watch basically a youtube video to do it <laughs> like has anyone else noticed two gems making a comeback or is it just like within my social circle in the sheffield area let me know. Let me know. Are two gems back? Should I get one? I'm not going to get one. But I could. I won't. I won't. I promise. I promise. My number two. That's four. Football shirts. I love bloke core. Um, it's probably been and gone by now. But like bloke core and like bloquette. I love it. Like, 
I love it. It's like, it's my culture. It's my culture. I may now be cosplaying as a middle class white woman, but I grew up in a council house and was working class. So I'm like, mm, that's my people wearing football shirts and drinking crap lager. I love it. I love it. I love a Carlin darling. I loves it. I saw so many girlies when I was at a festival recently wearing their like cute little skirts and the horrible football shirts and it's just hideous but like in a good way it just really speaks to me and I don't know why I just know if I got a Sheffield Wednesday shirt my dad would be proud of me for the first time in my entire life and that's uh, something I usually say for my therapist there you go that's a little nugget that's, no that's not true that's not true that's I'm joking I'm joking um, <laughs> I just know the blue of the Sheffield Wednesday kit that's not it for me it's not cute the tone of blue it's not nice it's not for me and I have also never really worn any like sports gear. I was not a very sporty child, um, I'm not a very sporty adult. I like going to the gym, um, but I don't really like doing sport cause I don't know, I don't like team sport cause I, I'm not a team player. I'm not a team player, I'm an individual. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what the material feels like on a sports shirt and I'm a bit like sensitive to some materials. Sometimes it can be a bit sensory hell. Um, like oh especially when it's that material where you know it'll go on your arm hair and you'll go static hair yuck uh, <laughs> the need to be a football girly though is like bizarrely overwhelming for me and i don't know why it's like gremlin brain my partner does have a couple of football shirts that i could feasibly borrow and try out but i'd obviously just rather spend the money myself and then if i end up not liking it beat myself up about it because of who I am as a person. That's the feminine experience, I think. Uh, I've never like gotten roped into a micro trend before. So this like, this never happens. And I can't believe it. They finally got me with one and I'm scared. I'm so scared, but like I have so many clothes. So I'm really enjoying swiveling on my chair. Whee! Uh, <laughs> I just got so many clothes that I'm like, do I really need to buy any more? This football shirt. But is it versatile? I don't know. I'll just like wear one of my weird little animal print t-shirts and like that'll be fine. Who needs a football shirt when I can wear a shirt that's got a goat on it? You know what I mean? That's basically the same. Point the third. I've been trawling through Vinted. Trawling. Every hour of the day. Like I've got no job. <laughs> Jobless behaviour. <laughs> I've been looking for trainers, like specifically pride trainers because I love rainbow capitalism. Like, I will not buy them firsthand because I don't want the brands to win by getting my LGBTQ dollars. But I'll buy them secondhand when it's, like, been a couple of years. I must have about 10 pairs of trainers just kicking about, but I really want more. It's, like, eating me up inside and I don't know why. Um, I know why all of these things. It's the unmedicated ADHD, but pretend that that's not the reason. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, as well, like, I already love... The trainers that I have and I feel like if I got more I'm not gonna wear I'm not gonna wear them am I I've only got one pair of feet and to defer back to my partner we wear the same size shoe as well so I have twice as many shoes to pick from uh there's a lovely pair of Reebok pride trainers that my partner has and it's never gotten to wear because I will always wear them if I get the opportunity they're really nice they've got like a pastel rainbow on the side like white trainer pastel rainbow gorgeous they're so lovely so i have uh like twice the amount of clothes to pick from and twice the amount of shoes i love that for me i'm so spoiled uh <laughs> i'm just in like a big <sighs> saving for japan mode right now because i saw a really nice pair of like adidas pride trainers that i don't have between me and my partner we don't have them uh and altogether it was going to be about 20 quid like with postage and stuff but i thought you've only got one pair of feet come on girl what are you doing um and also like the 20 quid that could buy me a nice bowl of ramen and then a couple beers when i'm in japan you know i'd rather have the ramen i would rather have the ramen and the beer you know also the uh shoe storage that we have like hung up on the back of our pantry door is basically full now and i know i have some shoes that are not displayed on there they're just sort of in a bag 
but because I don't see them, uh, they don't exist anymore because my object permanence. Uh, <laughs> I have no <laughs> concept of object permanence. I'm like a child. If like if I can't see it, it doesn't exist. That's why I end up putting stuff down all the time and then it disappears. I think it's like a goblin that comes to get them. It's not just me being daft. And number four, as I am, as previously mentioned numerous times, a mad ADHD bitch, I am tempted by a new hobby. Um, I am really wanting to get into beads. I bought a couple packs, like a few cheap packs, um, to make some bracelets when I went to go see Avril Lavigne. Again, I'm 32 years old. Who do I think I am? I did make this bracelet though. Um, it says bugs because I love bugs. I don't really love bugs that much, but I just thought it was cute. And this glows in the dark. Stunning. Bugs. <laughs> On a wider scale, I just really wanna buy jewelry making supplies. Like, I used to dabble making jewelry in my sort of late teens, early 20s. I was quite good. I was all right. I had like, thing is though, you have to buy like 20 things. Like, you can't just be like, right, I just wanna make one necklace. You have to buy the things to make like 20 necklaces. And that was really annoying. Cause then I just had a hoard of them. What happened to all that stuff? I don't remember. Um, anyway, <laughs> my reasoning is it just saved me so much money buying jewelry. It won't. And I can make myself like really fun things. I won't. Um, I had this same itch a few years ago and I bought myself a polymer clay kit because I was like, ooh, I can make my own earrings and save myself loads of money. And I didn't realize how hard it is to get the earrings to look nice. And I made about two pairs and then just forgot about it and it is still gathering dust up here somewhere so I need to get rid of that. It was just too much work for like poorly made jewellery and like I can't be bothered. I would rather spend my time not doing that. Uh, but the pull of beads is just like really unreal. Like just like the sound of a bead I love. I don't even know if you can hear that. You probably hear our neighbours outside crying because uh, they're always outside crying and screaming nice girls they just love to yell uh i just like feel like a magpie because i'm just coveting i'm like i love a little shiny shiny trinket trinket shiny shiny and i love bugs it's not even a bug it's an isopod is an isopod a bug i don't know he's cute though to round us off i am desperate to buy some new glasses i have got five pairs already and that's not even including my sunglasses but they're not like all day items whatever i only have one pair of eyes why do i need more glasses and they're all the same prescription i don't need i don't need more my prescription has not changed but i'm wanting uh i already have a favorite pair of glasses which are the ones you see before you these i love they're so beautiful god love fermo like that's where i bought most of my glasses and my sunglasses from they are just bombarding me with ads at the minute like they know that i'm weak and i really want the like bold and brash glasses i want people to think she's got personality she looks interesting <laughs> i keep adding stuff to my car and like hovering over checkout weekly but i just can't bring myself to pull the trigger like i don't need any more glasses do i but i want to get a little treat a glass is really a treat imagine like me saying to myself a decade ago it's a real treat to buy new glasses i'd be like shut up nerd and uh like bundle me into a locker i wouldn't i wasn't in school then i don't know what i'm on about he uh i <laughs> i just want more glasses though i'm bored of these ones even though I, these ones bring me so much joy but i'm bored of them yeah i was being really whiny i don't need to buy new things you have to hold me accountable you gotta help me I'm just a weak woman with glass bones and paper skin and I need, I need you to hold me accountable. <laughs> Are you guys tempted by anything weird and wonderful? Would you get a tooth gem? Would you get a tooth gem? Would you? Is it just me that wants to get a tooth gem? The tooth gems exist solely within my mind. I don't know. <laughs> Please let me know I'm not alone in this suffering. Like, is there anything you're trying to talk yourself out of anything you're like swearing off of are you budgeting are you saving for anything let me know 
I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>